Welcome to Living Supernaturally, our daily devotion where we take time to look into the Word of God, study the Word of God and apply the Word of God in our lives. Uh, today we are looking at uh, the walk that all of us as believers are called to and when we, when we look at the word walk uh, that scripture instructs and exhorts in several places, especially in the epistles, we see that it is uh, how we regulate our life, how we conduct ourselves and how we live our lives. Um, so. Uh, we, we, let's go to Galatians chapter 5 and verse 16 and after that we'll look at Galatians 5 and verse 25. So Galatians 5 verse 16 says, I say then, walk in the spirit and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. So Paul is exhorting the Galatians believers and he's saying, walk in the spirit and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Verse 25 if we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. So the reality is this, if we go down to verse 17, it says that the flesh lusts against the spirit. So if the flesh referring to the sinful appetites of the body, or it could be the appetites of the body uh, wanting to be satisfied in sinful or inappropriate ways, right? the, less, the flesh lusts against the work of the spirit against the prompting of the Holy Spirit. But if we walk in the Spirit, we will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. So the key to victory is this. The key to victory is to walk in the Spirit. To walk as led, instructed, prompted, commanded, and empowered and guided by the Holy Spirit. If we walk in such a manner, then we will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. The lust of the flesh always brings us down to live a life at a far lower realm than what we are designed to be as believers, as sons and daughters of the Most High God. Romans 8 and verse 13 says, If you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if by the Spirit you put to death the deeds of the body, you will live. So, we need to walk in the spirit as instructed to put to death the deeds of the body. Right? We need to walk in the spirit. If we ever want to, if we are frustrated by the things of the flesh and if we want to be victorious over the things of the flesh, over the lusts of the flesh, we need to walk in the spirit. There are no two ways about it. Because if we walk in the spirit, we will put to death the deeds of the body. Secondly, it, this is something that we see that we can put to death the deeds of the body. Right? Many times we think, this is it. I'm, I'm trapped in this habit. I'm trapped in this thought pattern. I'm trapped in this kind of personality that, we, that I have. And there can be never, there can be no escape. There can be no exit to this. Right? Well, scripture says something else. We can put to death the deeds of the body, if we will walk in the Spirit. Okay. So the Lord reveals by His Spirit, the Lord teaches by the Holy Spirit. He reveals things that He preempts, things that we do not yet know. He shows us things that we do not yet know. He also reveals and He teaches us by His Spirit. He teaches us to prosper, He teaches us to be victorious, He teaches us to overcome by the spirit. So here's this exhortation once again to walk in the spirit so that we can put to death the deeds of the body and not fulfill the lusts of the flesh. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you for this exhortation to walk in the spirit. To walk in the spirit of God. To be led, prompted, guided, empowered by the Holy Spirit daily and Lord, we thank you that you've given us this privilege and we can put to death the deeds of the body. We don't have to come under it, God. We don't have to live a life of a subservience to the appetites of the flesh, but we can be victorious and we can be overcomers. We thank you that this is made possible, Lord, by the ministry of the Holy Spirit. And so, God, we esteem that highly and we give you all the praise and glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. 
For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.